हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर एज वी मो एज वी डिस्कस एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन वेरी डिटेल दैट अबाउट वॉट इज कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर और वॉट इज अ विच प्रोडक्शन और विच फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर नाउ एज वी ऑलरेडी सीन दैट वेरियस लैंग्वेज कैन बी एफिशेंटली बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर so all the grammar are not always be optimized that means uh, the grammar may consist of some extra symbol that is non terminal so having extra symbol in the production rule it unnecessary increase the length of the grammar so for that purpose or to decrease the length of the grammar or to reduce or to eliminate those uh, uh, grammar which are useless so that is called simplification of context free grammar so simplification of context free grammar means that we reduce reduction of grammar by removing some useless symbol so this is all this is called simplification of context free grammar now to reduce that context free grammar into a reduced grammar it can be categorized into three parts okay the first part is first we see in the simplification of context free grammar that is removal of null production or epsilon production after that the reduced grammar the second category is removal of unit production and third one is removal of useless symbol so after combining all these three category we can reduce a context free grammar into a reduced grammar so we will discuss all these category one by one so in this video i am only discuss about i am i am going to discuss only how we remove the null production from the grammar so removal of unit production as well as removal of useless symbol we will discuss in my next video so keep watching that video so how to remove the null production or you can say epsilon production so there are set of rules okay so for elimination of null production or epsilon production we first find out all the null production in the grammar and also find out the nullable variables okay so what are nullable variables that terminals or that variable which contain directly or indirectly the epsilon production okay then after finding the nullable variables then we move to the right hand side of every production and check wherever that nullable variable is encountered we rewrite that production with that nullable variable or without it means first we find the nullable variable in the production after finding the nullable variable then we check the right hand side of all the production one by one that whether that nullable variable wherever the nullable variable is encountered we rewrite that production with that nullable variable or without it okay and then third part is that then we eliminate that nullable variable okay so we see some example that how we reduce the null production or how we eliminate the epsilon production so this is one of the example that s derive a s a a b or b a derive b or b derive small b or epsilon so my first step is that we have to find out the null production so here we uh, this b capital b derive epsilon is a nullable variable so the first part is the nullable variables are nullable variables are first b capital b derive epsilon so this b is a nullable variable now see this b derive epsilon is a direct nullable variable but we can also check the, all the indirect that then that the grammar can the grammar be derived indirectly any epsilon production see here if a derive b and if i substitute this b as an epsilon then this a can be can the a can also be uh, this a can be a derive epsilon so a also the nullable variable okay so for this particular grammar the first step is that we find the nullable variable which are directly or indirectly so a and b are the nullable variable now we move to the right hand side of every production and check that all the nullable variable that is a and b they if they are encounter in any production so we rewrite that production with nullable variable or without it so second step is the first the first see here first production is s derive a s a so in this production here two a are encounter and this a 
is a nullable variable means if I first we rewrite with uh, production with this nullable variable and now we have to write this production with without nullable variable means I have to substitute a as an epsilon here if I this put a as a epsilon so this will become s a if I substitute this a as epsilon then the production will become a s if I substitute in both a as an epsilon the production will be s okay now s can be a b so if I substitute so we have to write with nullable variable and without this if I substitute here b as an epsilon it can be only a s and the remaining production is b so for this production the uh, after elimination after elimination the uh, nullable production though so the uh, the production the grammar will be look like this now this for this gram for this grammar production a derive b here so if i substitute b as an epsilon so this a can be epsilon but we keep, we do not write a as an epsilon because a is not the starting symbol so this b can be small b so we can derive this or this b can be b here okay and then we eliminate all the nullable variable so if i uh, if i uh, eliminate all the nullable variable so he, see here this can be uh, uh, you can write it as um, you can write it as s can be s a or you can say s only okay a or b this a can be b and this b can be b okay so this is how we eliminate the null, null production now we consider some more example okay uh, this is the next example that we have to consider that s derive a s b or a capital a b or a derive epsilon so in this the first part is that we have to find out the nullable variable so the nullable variable are first this production a derive epsilon so a can be nullable and check uh, can be another uh, epsilon production in direct way uh, no so in this case a is the only nullable variable now we have to check where on the right hand side of every production that wherever wherever this a encounter we rewrite that variable production with it or without it and so this means s derive a s b or now for this a first we write a capital a b or if i substitute a as an epsilon here so this can be a b now this a can be epsilon so we now we have to eliminate it so the final answer is there is a reduced grammar is s derive a s b so we have to this eliminate also this uh, nullable no variable so uh, the reduced grammar will be s derive a s b or a b so this is the final answer okay now the next uh, example is if this the production is s derive a b small a small c a derive b c b derive b or epsilon c derive d epsilon or d derive d so here the nullable variables are sorry uh, here the nullable variables nullable variables are see here b derive epsilon c derive epsilon so b and c are direct uh, generate the epsilon production now we check whether there be a, a grammar or pro any production which in uh, which can generate uh, epsilon in direct way so see here for this production a derive bc if i put b or c as an epsilon then this a can be epsilon here so this a is also a nullable variable so for this particular grammar the nullable variable are a b and c now we check in the right hand side of every production wherever this uh, these three nullable variable encounter we rewrite that production with that nullable variable or without it and then we eliminate the all the nullable variable so first we consider s derive a b a c now see here if i substitute a as an epsilon so this can be b a c then if i substitute c as an epsilon this can be a b a or if i substitute a and c both as an epsilon this can be b okay now the next production is a derive bc 
and if I substitute B as an epsilon this can be C, if I substitute C as an epsilon this can be E, B and if I substitute A, B and C as an epsilon so this gives A derived, A derived epsilon but we do not write this uh, but we do not need to add this because left hand side that is A is not the starting symbol. So, we do not write this epsilon here. Now, the next production is B derive B, we do not have to write this B uh, epsilon here, C derives D and D derive D. So, after uh, eliminate all the nullable variables, so this production can be S derive uh, this is uh, B A C or A B A or B A, this A can be C or B or this B can be B or C can be D and this D can be D. But here after see we observe that that after removing some null, null, uh, null production, we add some unit production, these are unit production. So, these are also useless. So, how we eliminate these unit production? So, we will discuss in my next video. So, keep watching our video and subscribe our channel. Okay. So, if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section or you can send your query directly to our business email id that is itechnicallearning at the So, keep watching my video. Thank you so much.